Who doesn't love Michael Jackson? He is obviously the favorite pop star of 90s kids. But did you know he had a life darker than night? Michael Jackson, the king of pop, left an indelible mark on the world with his extraordinary talent and eccentric personality. After his death in 2009, several secrets and lesser known aspects of his life came to light, shedding new perspectives on his enigmatic persona. Despite his immense wealth and success, it was revealed that Michael Jackson faced severe financial difficulties. At the time of his death, Jackson was reportedly in debt to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. His lavish lifestyle, coupled with costly legal battles and poor financial management, had significantly depleted his fortune. The sale of his famous Neverland Ranch and other assets posthumously helped to alleviate some of this debt. Jackson's autopsy revealed several health issues that he had kept private. Besides the well-known fact that he had vitiligo, the report indicated he was suffering from arthritis, lung inflammation, and chronic insomnia. He was also underweight and had various scars, some of which were attributed to multiple plastic surgeries. Additionally, his dependence on prescription medications was more severe than many had realized with a cocktail of drugs found in his system, primarily administered by his personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray. His dependency ultimately played a role in his untimely death from acute propofol and benzodiazepine intoxication. While it was no secret that Michael Jackson had undergone plastic surgery, the extent of his procedures was only fully understood after his death. His autopsy confirmed that Jackson had numerous cosmetic surgeries beyond the well-documented nose jobs. These included surgeries on his face, lips, and possibly his chin, contributing to his dramatically altered appearance over the years. Jackson was bald and used to wear a wig. His hair loss at the time of his death in 2009 was a direct consequence of a traumatic accident that occurred during the filming of a Pepsi commercial in 1984. While performing a concert sequence for the commercial, a pyrotechnics malfunction caused sparks to ignite Jackson's hair, resulting in severe second degree burns on his scalp. The incident was captured on video and widely publicized, showing Jackson's hair catching fire and him running down the stairs in distress before being extinguished by crew members. The injuries from the accident led to a significant loss of hair and left Jackson with permanent scars on his scalp. To manage the pain and scarring, he underwent multiple medical treatments, including surgeries. Despite these efforts, the damage was irreversible, leading Jackson to use wigs to cover the affected areas. By the time of death, Jackson was virtually bald with only sparse, thin patches of hair, often referred to as peach fuzz, remaining on his head. Jackson's private struggles with fame, isolation, and mental health were also brought to light after his death. Despite his public persona, Jackson reportedly felt lonely and misunderstood. He struggled with the pressures of living up to his own and others' expectations, leading to bouts of anxiety and depression. His reliance on prescription drugs was partly a means to cope with these immense pressures. During Nicole Jackson's 2005 trial for child molestation charges, the stakes were incredibly high. If convicted, Jackson faced the grim possibility of spending years in solitary confinement, a prospect that deeply worried his family. Unknown to Jackson himself, his brother Jermaine Jackson took drastic measures to prepare for the worst case scenario. Jermaine secretly arranged for a private jet to be on standby to whisk Michael away to Bahrain, a country that does not have an extradition treaty with the United States. The plan was a contingency to ensure that Michael could avoid the harsh realities of an American prison. Bahrain, being outside the reach of US extradition laws, represented a safe haven where Jackson could potentially live without fear of being forcibly returned to serve a prison sentence. It's just like many others from the pop industry, MJ was also accused of sexual abuse, not one time, but multiple times. It all begun in when the Chandler father, Evan, was reportedly the first to accuse MJ of raping his son. Now, instead of going to the police like a normal parent would hearing this news, he demanded a screenwriting deal. And all of this was after he got divorced with his ex-wife having custody over his son. His wife also denied the accusations, but the father wanted to make it public. The settlement ended with $23 million to the Chandlers in January, 1994. But the case itself was later dismissed in September, 1994 due to the accuser not cooperating and for lack of evidence. That's a sign he's guilty. He's covering up his tracks with money. Surprisingly, Evan committed suicide five months after MJ's death. The documentary Leaving Neverland has also showed that Wade Robson candidly stating that MJ sexually abused him for seven years. Wade Robson's connection with Jackson began at age five when his dance moves won him a contest prize to meet the pop star. 
their relationship deepened quickly, encouraged by Robson's mother, who was captivated by Jackson's celebrity. Uh, similarly, James Safe Chuck met Jackson after appearing in a Pepsi commercial. By age 10, he was accompanying Jackson on tours, his mother equally mesmerized by the pop star. Safe Chuck recounts the transition from friendship to sexual abuse, starting with Jackson introducing him to masturbation. This relationship escalated to what Safe Chuck describes as a sexual couple relationship facilitated by Jackson's manipulations to keep them alone together. One particularly disturbing memory involves Jackson performing oral sex on Safe Chuck while he slept, an act Jackson framed as an expression of love. Wade Robson's abuse allegedly began at age seven when Jackson convinced his mother to let him stay alone with the boy for five days at Neverland Ranch. The abuse included a range of sexual acts accompanied by Jackson's insistence that women were untrustworthy and that discovery would lead to jail for both of them. A particularly chilling moment was the Safe Chuck's recollection of a mock wedding ceremony with Jackson, complete with a wedding ring and jewelry given as rewards for sexual acts. Beyond these well-known accusations, Jackson faced numerous legal and financial battles. These ranged from lawsuits over alleged unpaid debts and broken contracts to disputes over intellectual property rights. The financial strain was compounded by his extravagant lifestyle and mismanagement of funds leading to a precarious financial situation in his final years. His legal troubles were a constant source of stress and anxiety, contributing to his deteriorating health. Jackson had numerous ambitious projects and aspirations that never materialized. These included plans for a major comeback tour and various philanthropic endeavors. His inability to realize these dreams, partly due to his health issues and untimely death, adds a layer of tragedy to his story. Michael Jackson's life was a complex tapestry of extraordinary talent, immense success, and profound personal struggles. The darker aspects of his life, many of which were overshadowed by his public persona, reveal a man who faced incredible challenges and pain behind the scenes. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. See you in the next video. Bye.